Hello and welcome to the show. We started this week's Fair Race episode with Bumpy D on GTA 5. Now this was during one of our filming sessions, one of our races. Now, when we raced these vehicles, we actually moved around a lap from the game official standpoint because we expected Turn 1 to be a little bit chaos. And, well, this is the reason why. Even though we weren't racing, we were supposed to be just going around to the first, well, to the actual start line, everybody crashed. Literally everybody crashed, with Bumpy ending up managing to Austin Powers' car in the little drainage area. And that's why we moved the start line. <laughs> We're not good sometimes, honestly. A Jew on a GTA 5 is doing a stunt race as we're heading into the Jupe, currently stands in second position. However, the car behind tries to get up the inside, gives a little bit of a tap as they head up towards a boost pad. Juice Cars gets turned around one way across the boost pad, knocked the other way by the player, spins back around, lands perfectly on his wheels, pointing the right way as the, well, other player's car tumbles and rolls around on its roof. Stinty Boy on Forza Motorsport 7 is starting a race at Rio, which is always a little bit scary. It's quite narrow down here, and when they try to fit four cars wide, well, the little Ferrari Dino comes off slightly worse. First of all, going for a tumble. I mean, there's little that uh, the S2000 can do in that particular instance when you've suddenly got a Ferrari upside down in front of you. Uh, yes, Pings does eventually point the right way. A Tech Monster on Forza Horizon 3 is doing a cross-country race with a bunch of supercars. Now, always likely to go a little bit awry. Let's be honest, this one though, I haven't quite seen it this, this bad. That is four cars, three AIs, and the player car managing to roll through all of that, come out second, landing on their wheels. A mini ops on the crew to Beta carries a little bit too much speed through a corner with a boat, can't quite stop in time for the bridge, and, and we're parked. It's a new sort of park, well done. Well done indeed. Now, this next clip from the Magic Yeti or TT Island Man. A little bit difficult to see quite what goes on because it's very, very quick before the player gets reset. However, I assume players had a crash. AI bike behind doesn't have time to avoid it. Uh, kind of fly teleports its way across the stricken bike. It's just soaring off into the scenery. Now, the player gets reset and you don't see the other rider anymore. I'm going to presume they just kept going up. I'm going to presume they just went up to space and we found another way to launch vehicles into into orbit. Uh, that Mudkip on Grid 2 playing the demo derby round. A crossover point gets clipped and for a large number of rolls it's still <laughs> tumbling its way down the road in all of that. Now the crossover point of course always dangerous. This, this game mode great fun on, on Grid. It is, yeah, it kind of goes over the bonnet of a car behind, scrapes the front along the floor before going for a big number of rolls. Does come back to the landing and is still, I presume at least, uh, leading the way in all of that. Although speaking of, of demo derbies, black and red 81 on a driven to destruction is racing in a career race. Lap number one goes across a big jump and things have gone a little bit less than ideal. A little bit less than ideal in all of that. You know, it's tumbled over, he's recovered it. Then we go on to lap number two and <laughs> exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Hits the landing, bounces over onto his roof, skids off into the wall. What do we reckon is going to happen on lap number three? Well, we don't actually know. On lap number four, though, we do know it's, it's a third roll for the car exactly the same way. Exactly the same way. Hits the ground, hits, hits the landing, and it's enough to ping the car over. And it's not even just the player here. It's not even just the player that is doing weird things, because after he crosses the finish line, the AI is now taking control of the vehicle, and we're going to go for another roll. Amazing. I think I might actually be in a slightly different jump as well, but <laughs> incredible stuff. Red Devil on Wreckfest is uh, quite a heavily battered car, let's be honest. That is not a normal looking vehicle. Either way, is heading across the start finish line here down towards the first corner. Now, this can be quite a tempting corner to try and go as, as fast as possible. However, you don't want to cut the corner. It is a little bit of a, a little bit of a risk cutting that corner. You will be punished. You will be punished by a big roll and getting stuck on the concrete barrier. As I said many times before, that's how you stop corner cutting. Uh, Dilly also on Wreckfest, very, very similar, uh, slightly different outcomes this time around. <laughs> I mean, that wheel was across the inside of the kerb. You didn't keep two wheels on the track, and the game punished you with a big roll. I mean, this one was quite an impressive ping off of the wall. Just trying to catch the cars ahead. Too much on the inside is a huge ping off the wall. Lovely stunt and a good landing. A nice solid landing in all of that. Uh, Inferno the Fox up next on Destiny 2 is calling in the Sparrow. 
Little did he know he called in the fail race industry special, or which only knows how to roll. Doesn't know any other sort of movement. Certainly not initially. <laughs> Pings and rolls and bounces, and I mean, I. Well done for managing to hold on for this long. Normally, all of the test the test subjects have long since fallen off and thrown up somewhere, but nope, we're still going to go. We're going to go for some more rolls. I don't even know how many times this thing has spun around. It does eventually come to a landing, and then we can go for a little bit of normal, normal driving. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. However, uh, that's an impressive amount of... Of rolling. And finally, Invisible AK on, on Pubga with another Fell Race Industry special. This time we've been modifying a little old Jeep. It's a little bit rickety and also occasionally likes to just spiral out of control. Just just spiral around. Uh, <laughs> drive again. Change his driver and then we get less of the spiraling out of control. I'm going to hazard a guess it's something lag related in all of this. Well, whatever it is, it's quite a bit. Or maybe someone's found the Ferrari switch, for all we know. Uh, someone's found the Ferrari switch. And when the other driver gets back in again, it's off to the scenery with the G. And then there's a big explosion. The fact actually that the player died in all that suggests it might not be entirely lagging. Like, I don't know. I have no idea. What I do know is that that is a very vicious number of rolls and an interesting way for a Jeep to go and make some, well, distance, followed by a big explosion. Well done indeed. Ferris Industries are definitely branching out in terms of their, <laughs> in terms of their vehicles. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. At the very top of the page is the Fail Race Clip Submission section, and in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. However, that's going to be it from me. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.